Good evening, guys, or morning or afternoon or whatever time it is when you're watching this. For me, it is a quarter after five. I just got home from work and changed and will be heading over to the farm to help Ross. He's been raking hay most of the day. Um, I'm gonna show you our field here at the house first, and then we will go over to the farm where the cattle are at. Even from here, the hay is looking awesome. Excited to get a little closer to it. Um, again, this is our home place still. There is about seven to 10 acres here, and it is mostly Timothy orchard grass. Wish you could see how awesome this looked. The picture does not do it justice. This is beautiful stuff. This is our second cutting. So again, they just raked this today. I'm not sure when we'll bale it yet, but it'll take you long for that as well. I just want to kind of show you second cutting here at our house before we get going to the farm. I just got here to the barn. I'm going to jump in the tractor with Ross and help him rake this field. Ross is going to finish raking this field and I am going to go check on a couple that he raked earlier to see if they are ready to bale yet. Then I will go check on the calves and Ross and I will feed them once he's done with this field. some hungry babies so we'll get them fed and then call it a night food coming we just got done with dinner we are back at the barn my mother-in-law had us over for an excellent meal Ross is done raking, so I'm gonna call it a wrap here. Tomorrow we will be bailing. I'm hoping that I get to be a part of that, um, but they'll probably start before I get done with work. But hopefully I'll get to show you some of that, but this is where I'm gonna call it a night, and I will see you guys tomorrow. What do you think, Penn? Penny, do you like Dante? So I'm going to jump on the skid steer, go grab the bales, and then bring them back over to the barn here. Uh, we just have to kind of move around some of the first cutting bales in the barn just to kind of reorganize. So I'll just set them outside the barn.
I'm kind of changing gears as to what I'm doing. I'm gonna take the Kubota up to the cow pasture, make sure they have enough water, uh, and then go back to the field that Ross was round baling in and collect up any of the loose hay that's still in the field. It's a bit dry, so the uh, baler wasn't picking up that much. Um, it's not the end of the world if you leave it there, but if it is left there, it kind of prevents new hay from growing or grass from growing. So I'm gonna go pick that up, give that to the calves, and then by that time, Ross will probably be done in the field that he's currently at which he's round bailing somewhere else now. So a few days ago, we brought this feeder down and I didn't really explain why we brought it down. Uh, some of you might be thinking, well, if they're on pasture, why do they need hay? So I'm gonna answer that. As I've said a million times, we have not had rain in several days. So things are a little dry around here. Um, the grass is not growing much. So we want to supplement, give them free choice hay as much as their hearts desire. Uh, we are still hand feeding them grain as well. As I've mentioned before, so this is again just above and beyond the grass that they can get. Uh, we've been, we have three different pastures that we've been rotating them on, but it hasn't really mattered again because not a whole lot of grass is growing with no rain. So that is the scoop on why we brought the hay feeder into our pasture in case any of you were wondering. Something that I meant to show you when we were mowing and raking is damage from leaf hopper. Um, I found some alfalfa here. I don't know if you can see this very well. I'm gonna flip the camera around. So you can see the alfalfa here and how it's kind of yellow. Um, that is damage from leaf hopper, which is an insect that hops on the leaf. Um, it is sucking the, in some plants, sap or any juices from the leaf. Uh, causing it to yellow. It affects more than just alfalfa, but that's the problem on our farm. Um, you can spray for it. Sometimes what happens is other farmers will spray for it. We don't because we don't. And then they hop on over to our alfalfa. Uh, I'm gonna show you another field, our alfalfa field. You can kind of see it a little bit better because it has not been mowed and just the damage that it does cause. Um, but I'm interested to hear from you guys. I don't know that much about it, so comment below where you're from and if it affects anything in your garden, anything in your fields, because um, I'd always like to learn and know more about things. So let me know, comment below, and then I will show you our alfalfa field as well. I think it's a little too bright for you guys to see, um, but if you can kind of see where it is yellow, again, that is because of leaf hopper. You kind of see some right there so again this is alfalfa field that it does kind of attack alfalfa um, or more of your leafy plants so yeah that is what that looks like
Okay, so here is second cutting, part of it anyways. More second cutting over there. Majority of that, well, all of that is first cutting. See second cutting starting to be stacked there. All of the large squares, straw bales there. And then small squares are over there. Pretty fortunate. We have a plethora of uh, hay options for the cattle, which is a rewarding feeling. I don't know about anybody else, but there is something satisfying about working the land and planting and harvesting the crops. So I love seeing a uh, barn full of hay. Looks really good. Happy with the way it turned out. Just rewarding. We pushed some of the loose straw and hay down and the babies found it. The round bales are in the barn. My father-in-law let me know that there were 378 small squares at our place. That's awesome. Also informed me that our farm is seven acres. I think I said seven to 10. So awesome day, very rewarding, and I'm gonna call it a wrap. So thanks for watching guys, I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, it really helps me out. And it's free to do. Let me know where you're from. Comment below. And again, have a great evening.